And this is the scene here at the Hawthorns. Great to have you with us. My name is Derek Ray, and with me for commentary is the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's West Bromwich Albion versus Manchester United. Yeah, really looking forward to this one, Derek. Excite me. Come on, let's see some entertainment. Always difficult to predict in advance who might decide a game, but you could make a strong case for this man. Lee, what are you anticipating seeing from him? Well, I hope these defenders have read the player notes for this game. They're up against the goal machine. They need all their focus and attention to stop him scoring today. Watch this space. A look at the initial 11 for West Bromwich Albion. Pretty well balanced, this formation, Lee. Yeah, it can be a 4-2-3-1 in the offensive mode, but it can also go back to a 4-5-1 when you're defending. The lone striker will be supported by the three just behind him, especially the number 10 who will be given a free roll. This is the team Manchester United will go with. A standard 4-4-2, a formation you know well from your playing days, Lee. Yeah, I like this formation, Derek. It's very, very important that when they haven't got the ball, they all stick together. Very solid look about it. When they don't have the ball, very important that they stay close together in midfield. The back four will link across the width of the pitch, but they've got to help the forwards. The two up front need width. And they kick off here. How can he take them on and beat them? Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. No well, foul play, says the referee. He's been admonished by the referee. He's now got to walk something of a tightrope. Yeah, he knows exactly where he stands. Look at the referee, how he's told him off there. No yellow card, but certainly knows what the referee's thinking. And the save made following the free kick, and he was able to hang on to the ball. Van Nistelrooy. Well, looking at the table, Chelsea fans, general expectations and the reality of the situation, two very different things, Lee. Well, second half of the season is there as well. Standards have dropped, they haven't improved. Individual players are not playing well. Sign of a great team is one that repeats performances week in, week out. They've not done that. Getting news of a goal in the Spurs match. Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Everton. Ten minutes played, 1-0. Thanks as ever for the update, Alan. Van Nistelrooy. Here's Schweinsteiger. Careless in possession. Good physical play. George Best. Just cutting off the supply. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. Rashford. Veron. Well, he couldn't quite keep it on target. Just wide. I think there's been a goal in the Wolves game. Let's hear about it from Alan. It's a goal for Leeds United. 20 minutes played, 1-0. Many thanks, Alan. Romain Sawyers. Snodgrass. Still passing it around with authority. Okai Yokushu. Snodgrass, disappointing pass. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Bruno Fernandes. No possibilities in the centre. Thumps clear.
Townsend. Manchester United were the victors against Everton. How do you see this match going for them, Lee? Well, Derek, winning away from home and a clean sheet, 1-0. Can't get much better than that. They've got too much quality for me. They're going to win this game again today. Best. Schweinsteiger. Well, it's deadlock. Could be a mistake. Could be a moment of magic. Surely someone will take this game by the scruff of the neck. Best. Rashford! And denied by the keeper. Impressive. Well, that was the chance to take the lead and the manager's frustration is there for all to see. And now the delivery. Well, he got the touch on the ball, and so a corner it'll be. Well, an honest assessment would be that he hasn't really been on top of his game in attack league. Yeah, he's barely had a sniff at goal. Those defenders have mastered him pretty well. He needs to find a bit of magic if he's to help his side win today, but it all starts with testing the goalkeeper, Derek. Veron onto Van Nistelrooy. Alex Tellez has it. From Mr. Roy. And there it is. The breakthrough. That will do nicely. Well, this is definitely worth another look. Superb interplay, so slick. And then the sheer power of the strike, really impressive. It's a thunderbolt. So the match has restarted. 1 0 here. Not the best challenge. Free kick. Two minutes of stoppage time coming up. Van Nistelrooy. Excellent ball over the top. Opportunity it is. Take it away. And the whistle is sounded for half time in this game. He's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Lee? Well, his manager will be delighted with him. He's been spot on in this game, hasn't he? Energy, imagination, desire and a steely determination. Second half underway with United looking to build upon a largely positive first half showing. At times they make passing look easy. Alex Tellez has it. George Best. They're on. And they've won possession back. What can they do from here? Van Nistelrooy. Good defending to prevent the chance. Well, make sure you join us for more Premier League action coming your way. It's West Bromwich Albion taking on Liverpool. Yeah, atmospheres make games, Derek, and that should be an absolute belter. He's got to score! And the corner kick it is. What can they do with this one? So they look for inspiration. Well, they won't get too many opportunities today. They have to capitalise from set pieces like this. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Corner kick played in. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the chance. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity.
can they keep it going? Running room galore for United. Ruth for Nisto Roy. Oh, a tremendous... And he scored not once, but twice. They simply cannot stop him. And no wonder he's enjoying himself. Well, let's take a look at this replay. The difference between a good player and some of the best players is they don't need to take a touch. Gets his shot away. First time. Nothing else matters but concentrating on that ball. So, 2-0 now. And we're going to bring you an update now from the London Stadium where a goal has been scored. Alan McAnally will tell us more. It's a second goal for West Ham United. 63 minutes played, 2-1. Thank you, Alan McAnally. Well, they couldn't keep it. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Kroshitsky. A foul. most certainly was free kick given my goodness how often do you see three United substitutes coming on together Well, straight into the meat of the penalty area. I must admit, I thought he was going to score with that header. Yeah, it was a quality cross, and he gets up well, and it's just wide. Well, United certainly enjoying the lion's share of possession. It's important to have strong, dominant players in your midfield, and they've got that. Just look at what that control gives you. Can he finish? Absolutely spot on with that challenge. And don't forget, we have more Premier League action coming up for you on EA TV. It's Manchester United facing Wolverhampton Wanderers. Yeah, game after game, the season is relentless, but players just love to play. Give them a game any day of the week. That should be a belter. And it's a matter of what occurs in the final 15 minutes. And he could really get at the opposition. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. made following the free kick and he was able to hang on to the ball and in the perfect position to read it I believe there's been a goal can he finish? but into the keeper's gloves Bruno Fernandes on to Van der Beek Ferdinand well, it's a great advantage to any side when you're as comfortable on the ball as they are. Van der Beek, vital interception, the danger was very real. Can they create something from here? Could reduce the deficit, and able to get a body in the way. Inside the final two minutes of this contest. Well, 
three minutes of stoppage time, that's what the officials have said. Determined defending. And they need to get tighter here. It might be on for them. Has a go! And there it is, the final whistle. A result to please Manchester United fans around the world. They get the three points, Lee. Yeah, fairly comfortable in the end, wasn't it? Thought they controlled the middle of the park for most of the game. And going forward, there was some really lovely play too. Good result that was. And I think it's accurate to say, Lee, that this man was the light bringer for his side. Well, clearly the difference between the two sides today. Two goals, a really good performance, ran into the channel, did everything right. Absolutely, 9 out of 10. Just a moment of your time. That'll be all. Thank you so much.
The pre-match talk centres on Ronaldo. He scored four in his last three. What will he produce today? Stay with us on EA TV. And welcome everyone to England's North West. The action soon to get underway here at Old Trafford. I'm Derek Ray, joined here in the commentary position as always by Lee Dixon. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It is Manchester United versus Wolverhampton Wanderers. Yeah, thanks, Derek. My advice to the players out there is try and get off to a quick start, be accountable for your own performance, but above all, go out and enjoy yourself. Should be a great game. Well, this is a man who knows how to finish with the best of them, Raul Jimenez. Lee, what do you expect to see from him today? Well, he's been in fine form in the league, as you can see the stats. It's going to be a real test for that back line today to keep him quiet. They switch off for a minute, he'll be in and he'll punish you. Well, Manchester United have chosen this particular shape. It looks like a conventional 4-4-2. A preferred formation by Arsene Wenger when he arrived at Arsenal. Two main strikers, four across the midfield. Really important for the full-backs to link up with the wide midfielders in this system. The initial 11 for Wolves. Wing-backs are important in this setup. Did you enjoy your experience of playing at wing-back, Lee? Not at all, under Bruce Rock. It's a very, very demanding role, as we can see. The full-backs are exposed, both offensively and defensively. Lots of support inside them, but going forward, they need to try and get the ball into the box for the two up front. Pogba. And now, Larson. Gianluca Zambrotta. PK. Pogba has it. Maldini. Pogba. And he was in the right place to intercept. Karim Belarabi. Oh, they've lost it. News coming through of a goal in the Leeds United match. Let's hear about it from Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Chelsea. It's been scored by Frank Lampard. He lost his marker from a corner and powered home the header. Five minutes played, 1-0. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. And can they prize them open now? Straightforward piece of goalkeeping. They're showing good defensive judgment. Considerable momentum, courtesy of Ronaldo. But what can he produce from here? Roy Keane. Keane! And the keeper taking it cleanly. And a throw-in forthcoming. Well, Manchester United impressed in the last game, winning against West Bromwich Albion. How do you think this one will go, Lee? What a pretty easy 2-0 away win. He's in with a chance. Oh, it was a crucial challenge. Let's go to Alan McAnally for news of a goal in the Everton match. Alan. It's a goal for Everton. It's been scored by James Rodriguez. A smart, instinctive finish when the ball broke to him 12 yards out. 20 minutes played, 1-0. Many thanks, Alan. A chance to whip it in. I'm sure, you know, he wishes he could have that header back. Well, in that position, you should think he's going to score. But it's really a poor effort with his head. Roy Keane. And now, Larson. And he might be through here. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. And it was turned out, so a throw-in will be next. Keane. Ronaldo. 
Well, that is a defender's job to come to the rescue. A good-looking move. Well, news of a goal at the Amex Stadium. Let's hear about it from Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Tottenham Hotspur. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say it was on the cards. Well, my initial opinion was to blame the goalkeeper, but here we get a better angle of it. Absolutely nothing it can do. A huge deflection. Keeper, no chance. Well, let's have another view of that goal. <laughs> the opening goal of the game, then. Andrew's goal, number 14. Apologies to Alan McAnally for having to cut him off in his pomp. Just to confirm, Tottenham did score in that match and they now hold a 1 0 lead. The possession lost, intercepted. Possession is a real problem for Wolves, but they won't mind. They're winning this game. And why? Because their counter attack is absolutely fantastic. Figo. VK, great block there. There's been a goal at Goodison Park, I'm hearing. Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Everton. It's been scored by James Rodriguez. And he's broken free. <laughs> Trailing as they are, what will be the thinking in the camp as you see it, Lee? Well, this United side just needs to up the tempo a little bit in the second half. They've had some joy. The team's nearly clicking, but just not quite. Pogba! And he's kept it out. Fully stretched. Somehow reaching it. Corner kick played in. Well, dealt with that ball comfortably. No accuracy at all in terms of the shot unleashed. Well, it's the care and attention, all that work to get in the position and then way, way wide. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have two extra minutes. Cristiano Ronaldo. Giggs now. And that will do it for the first half here at the Theatre of Dreams. Off and running in the second half. Wolves with the advantage, but still there was work to be done. Pogba. Now Keane. Zambrotta. Roy Keane. And can they prize them open now? Larson. Well, body in the way. Timely intervention. Just a quick reminder, action from the third round of the FA Cup coming up live on EA TV. It's Manchester United facing Cardiff City. Well, it's... And he's through here. And a goal here. Just what Manchester United required. They are level. Well, here's the replay, and that passing and movement is pure quality. And when he gets through to the keeper, he just smashes it past him and gives him no chance to think. A lovely finish. Well, the manager must be delighted with his team after they showed that attitude to get back into this top stuff. Even Steven won a piece on this match. They've regained possession. Gianluca Zambrotta. 
Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, good vision. Can he take the chance? Oh, a tremendous... Oh, my goodness! He's caught that so well! A goal of the highest class! Fantastic technique! Well, here we can see it again, and no wonder the manager is furious. They just have to get tighter, have to deal with the danger. Not good enough at all defensively. So the action continues, and it's on Wolves to show invention and perhaps level the game. Paul Pogba. Just a quick reminder, action from the third round of the FA Cup coming up live on EA TV. It's Wolves taking on Chelsea. Knockout football, Derek, you know it's my favourite. Properly focuses the mind, that does. Well, it should do anyway. I'm looking forward to it. Good looking ball, there could be a chance now, and he's in, able to clear the danger, at least for now. And firing it into the area. Pushkash. Thou shalt not pass was the message delivered. Cristiano Ronaldo. Edinson Cavani now. Giggs. The verdict is offside here. News coming through of a goal in the Leeds United match. Let's hear about it from Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Chelsea. 72 minutes played. 2-1. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. Cavani. Edinson Cavani now. And he might be through here. Well, he's been ruled offside. And they will make the change now. Inside the last quarter of an hour. Cristiano Ronaldo. Pure ball control. I believe there's been a goal on the Aston Villa match. Let's hear about that goal from Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Aston Villa. 77 minutes played. 2-1. Thanks as ever for the update, Alan. Veron. Ryan Giggs has it. Well, when you can keep the ball like this, it's got to be really annoying for the opposition. Well, United just have to try and hang on here. The fans are trying to get them over the line. Ronaldo. On to Veron. Well read to ease the pressure. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Good vision. Can he get on to this? Pushkash. And the keeper was almost likely to do his job under no pressure. Three minutes of added time here. 
Cavani. Cavani with a slide rule pass. A glorious chance. Really vital interception. And there it is, the final whistle. It's a Manchester United victory. Their fans will be happy about that, Lee. Well, it wasn't their usual bag full of goals today, but two was enough to get the job done. Nice control of the game for most of it. Tight scoreline, but three points is all that matters. We've got some questions for you. Thanks, that's all.
Hello and a warm welcome to South Wales. It's always a pleasure to broadcast from the Cardiff City Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, joined for commentary by former England international Lee Dixon and live action to come from the oldest cup competition of them all, the FA Cup. It's Cardiff City up against Manchester United. Yeah, cheers Derek. Well, what a big moment for this club and these fans. But as underdogs, you've got to put the pressure on early doors. You've got to use that home advantage, push back the team that's playing against you and hopefully get a goal just to put the pressure on. Sean Morrison. Number three, Joe Bennett. Number 21, Marlon Pack. And so this, the team for Cardiff City. Pretty well balanced, this formation, Lee. Yeah, it can be a 4-2-3-1 in the offensive mode, but it can also go back to a 4-5-1 when you're defending. The lone striker will be supported by the three just behind him, especially the number 10 who will be given a free roll. Well, Manchester United have chosen this particular shape. It looks pretty orthodox, Lee. Yeah, I love this formation, 4-4-2. The two main strikers will stay close together. The full-backs will link up with the wide players. The two holding midfielders will sit in front of the centre-backs. Very solid look about this team. Thank you. Enjoy the game. And so the battle commences. And that's an important intervention. Best. Here's Juan Bisaka. George Best. And return to Best. And Best has it. Best. Giving it a try. Can they slot it home? Pulls it back. No oh, tremendous Oh, tremendous goal! Technical excellence to finish that one off. Wonderful to have that in your repertoire. Well, here's the replay. He's done really well to get his head up and pick out a teammate. And the finish. I can't tell you how hard that technique is. It's an absolute cracker. The opening goal of the game then. Harry Wilson. Schweinsteiger. And providing width. And he's broken free. And another one. Two quick goals. Will it turn out to be the two punch knockout? Well, here's the replay, and it's a decent move to evade the defender, and then the brute force and guile in equal amount sets up the chance to score. And he doesn't disappoint, does he? It's going their way, 2-0. George Best. It's with Scholes. And they are on the move again. Top class defending. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. And offside, unfortunately.
promising sequence. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Good idea, that particular move, but not to be. Rawls. Well, not covering himself in glory defensively. Oh, a vital interception. George Best. Breaking at pace. Best. Oh, just off target. Well, it was a wonderful break at speed and looked like they were going to capitalise on it. Not far off, Derek. Will Volks. And the flag has gone up. Offside. United enjoying the bulk of possession here. And what that does, it just relaxes the team. If you've got the ball, you enjoy the ball. And they're turning it into goals as well. And this all right. On to Scholes. It was going to take an audacious effort to beat the goalkeeper from there. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Paul Scholes. Best. You can sense the threat is there. It should be. Oh, that's a goal at the wrong end. Well, it's every defender's nightmare. An own goal here. Well, let's have a look at that again. All defenders look away. Nobody likes to see this. It's poor, you have to say, but it's important now that he puts his head back on and starts to concentrate on the rest of the game. So, an own goal, and now they are chasing this game. Will Volks. Moore. Marlon Pack, crisp tackling. Disappointing for United to give it away like that. And breaking at pace with Menace. So two minutes to be added on at the end. Van Nistelrooy. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Well, we're picking him out for a reason. He's having a terrific game in attack, Lee. Well, his overall game is top draw, but his quality when it comes to finding the back... And the second half underway, it really was a dazzling first 45 from United. Best. Paul goals. Possession changes hands, the interception there. Sean Morrison. That's a lovely ball. Well, I think for a while we've believed the story had legs and now we can say it is official. Fred has come... It's there for him! He knew he had to make the tackle and did. Given away by Manchester United. Paolo Maldini. Well, can they be creative from here? Rashford. Well, body in the way. High pressing at its best.
And they'll get ready for the throw-in. They will now make use of their substitutes bench. Marcus Rashford. The first leg of the Carabao Cup semi-final will be live with us here on EA TV. It's Manchester United taking on Liverpool. Yeah, the atmosphere is going to be crazy for that one. Semi-final crowds are normally on their A game. Let's hope the players are too. It should be a great game, Derek. Real chance. Attacker versus keeper, and keeper wins. Oh, I always put my money on the attacker. Not this time. Brilliant goalkeeping. Paul Scholes. And they'll be a bit annoyed to have lost the ball. Rashford. And Best has it. Defensive efficiency personified. They've got it now. What can they do? A goal! An exceptional performance, this. Four to the good now. Well, we can see here it's a good finish, but really it's all about the concerted pressure beforehand. Really disciplined, working as a team to force a mistake and regain possession high up the pitch. Then they take full advantage. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Substitution for Cardiff City. Coming off the pitch, number 11, Josh Murphy, to be replaced by number Rawls. 27, Shay Ojo. Best. Veron. Goals, and in with a real chance, oh there it is, it's one goal after another and it speaks to the quality of that performance. Well here it is again, the through ball is perfectly timed, it causes havoc and because he's on his own he collects himself and he finishes it perfectly past the keeper. Oh my goodness, it's so one-sided. 5-0 in this match. Veron and Best has it United might be able to cash in a oh, terrific pass oh and throw on goal it's gone in and well he might celebrate on the back of that well here's the replay and that passing and movement is pure quality and when he gets through to the keeper he just smashes it past him gives him no chance to think a lovely finish well it's an out and out pasting 6-0 The cross is on, an attack full of promise, 
making sure nothing untoward happened it looks promising and a foul in the opinion of the referee now what can they do from this free kick situation and he takes it on denied by the bar back in play here well a good tackle take it away well the keeper is happy the bar was there false goals Owen with it George Best Best the final whistle and Manchester United move on. Too easy, simple as that. No real contest, almost a practice match, Derek. But great for confidence and team morale moving forward. And the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Lee. Well, he played well, scored a goal. What a good performance from him. And providing width. Hi, right, just a couple of questions for you. Thanks very much for speaking to us.